Hello viewers. In this video let us discuss about supercritical fluid chromatography which is a separation technique similar to the conventional HPLC and uh, gas chromatographies. But this particular chromatography is pretty unique in that the mobile phase is not a gas neither it is a liquid instead it is a supercritical fluid. So a fluid is something that flows. What exactly is a supercritical fluid? Let us see. So in this technique, uh, we take the supercritical fluid as a mobile phase. And supercritical fluid is any substance at a temperature and pressure which is above its critical point. So to understand the critical point, let's look at the phase diagram between uh, uh, pressure taken in bar and temperature taken in Kelvin. There is a point called as a triple point where the solid, liquid and gas, all the three phases can coexist. At any point over this line, the solid and gas exist in thermodynamic equilibrium. Point over this line or the curve, solid and liquid can exist in thermodynamic equilibrium. And any point over this, a liquid and gas can exist in equilibrium. So as we proceed to some point, beyond this point, well, now this no more act as a liquid or beyond this point, this no more act as a gas. All this region is considered to be a critical region. It is a region for a critical fluid. So this point is called as a critical point. Simply to define, a critical point is a point where the boundary between the two phases, the liquid phase and the gas phase is completely lost. Well. Uh, at critical pressure, here we have given at critical point the phase boundary is lost. So at critical pressure indicated by PC, as the pressure is raised, here we can see the gas phase cannot exist. So beyond critical pressure compound can exist only as a liquid. Similarly, beyond critical temperature liquid phase cannot exist so the compound can exist only as a gas but above this critical point that particular compound will neither behave as a liquid nor it behaves as a gas hence we call it as a supercritical fluid now <coughs> uh, let us see some common supercritical fluids this is used as a mobile phase and the four important supercritical fluids that we are going to consider is carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, ethane and ethylene. The critical temperatures and critical pressures have been given. The most important thing that we can find here is apart from carbon dioxide we can also use nitrous oxide, ethane and ethylene. All the critical temperatures as well as critical pressures are highly accessible but there are certain limitations for using the other mobile phases or the supercritical fluids as mobile phases. The reason is ethane and ethylene these are uh, organic compounds and these are highly inflammable so usage is limited. When it comes to nitrous oxide, nitrous oxide also has a accessible critical temperature and pressure but the important limitation is at critical point it can become explosive. But there is also an advantage with respect to this. Since it is having a permanent dipole moment, it is considered to be polar. And it can also elute some polar compounds present in the given analyte. Oh, in relation to carbon dioxide, when I compare it with carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide is also found to be a little bit expensive. So finally, we have to turn towards uh, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide has the one of the best accessible critical temperature and pressures. Also it is uh, inexpensive, easily available and it is also, uh, what can I say, it is highly inert, highly inert in the sense it is just impossible for this compound to burn. So this is one of the safest uh, mobile phases that we can use. Coming to some physical parameters of these uh, supercritical fluids. The most important physical parameters that I am choosing is the density, viscosity and diffusivity. So there is a comparison between the liquid, gas 
and the supercritical fluid. Well, look at the density, it is around 1.0, whereas for a gas it is about 0 0.001, and the supercritical fluid densities it is uh, very much closer to that of the liquid. But when we look at the viscosities, for these viscosities, the supercritical fluid viscosity is closer to that of the gas. When it comes to the diffusivity range, the diffusivity range for liquid is about 10 power minus 5, whereas for a gas it is 10 power minus 1. For supercritical fluid, it is anywhere in between this. So we call it as a intermediate diffusivity range. If at all we look at the values and we come to an analysis, density wise these critical fluids they are very close to that of the liquid but viscosity wise they are close to that of the gases. So due to their high density they can interact better with the analyte and due to their uh, low viscosity values they flow with much higher rates and it leads to an efficient mass transfer due to a very smaller resistance because visc viscosity is smaller therefore the resistance will also be smaller. The diffusivity range it is intermediate and uh, though it is intermediate it is towards a higher value. Higher diffusivity properties will allow the fluid to penetrate deeply into the voids or what we call it as the spaces of the stationary phase and as it can easily penetrate into the voids of the stationary phase, it can very easily elute the analytes with a very high efficiency. So these are some features about the supercritical fluids and one of the best supercritical fluid that we use as the mobile phase is carbon dioxide. Details about carbon dioxide will be given in my next video. Thank you.